everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So welcome to my happy world of fabric scraps. So today I want to show you guys what in the heck do you do with some fabric scraps? How can you incorporate them into your junk journals? And how can I get some? <laughs> so let's start with the first things first is I have tons of just fabric scraps here. I mean, tons, and this is just some of them, just some of them. And what I wanna do is show you guys how to incorporate them into your junk journals and we'll go from there, okay? So let's see. Okay, so first you can do, which is really fun, is snippets. And that is taking a bunch of scraps and either gluing them or sewing them down to a base, which could be, uh, this is like a painter's cloth that you can get like at uh, any hardware store or anything like that. Just like the painter's cloth that you throw down when you're painting your house or anything like that. So that stuff's really sturdy. I love it. And it's cheap. You could do that. You could do a big ribbon. You can you know, glue fabrics on top of that or sew them. Uh, you could do cotton fabric. You could do uh, muslin, anything like that. Any kind of, just anything for a base. And then you take your scraps and you glue them all down or you sew them all down. And I have a video that I can put on the end screen for you guys. Uh, I did, a, uh, I showed you guys a, uh, how to do these, how I do them. And it's a great cover that I use for my feather journal, my junk journal that I have. And um, I can post that down below the Etsy link if you guys want to come check out the feather journal that I did with this snippet as a closure, which is super fun. So I, I can put the Etsy link down below, the Etsy link down below, and I'll also put the in on the end screen to show you guys how to do these. They're so much fun, and it's a great way to use up your scraps, or it's just therapeutic. It's just super fun. Okay. So we got that one. That's one way to use your scraps. Another way is to just have your scraps and to do little tie closures, like at the top of your tags, things like that, like this. I got another little closure on the top and then I used it, did a snippet. Uh, I just glued it all down and did some sewing and I did that for a little bookmark here or a journaling card. So I did that, and then another closure up here. These are just all little snippets of fabric that I have. And then if you have bigger pieces of fabric, you can just cover and make a big journaling card. So I did that. So those are all, these are all fun, great ideas to use. And also I did this with you guys. I have a video on this, and I also have the digitals in my Etsy shop, I'll put that down below, the pumpkin digitals, where you guys can do this. And I show you guys how I do it. And I'll put that on the uh, end screen on how I do this and piece them together. There's so much fun. Uh, and then I do a no sew, sew option also. I try to throw no sew options in for you guys too. Um, but yeah, these are definitely fun to play with. And then I'll put the Etsy link down below for the digitals. Really reasonable priced if you guys want to come make some of these. Okay, so I got that, that, I'm just showing you guys some examples. And also fabric, you know, you could do fabric journal covers. Uh, you can even do uh, just closures and uh, little dangles here for your journals. You could do that and then closures with some snippet, you know, just some strips of fabric, works great. Uh, I think I have an example in here of pockets. You could do like, you know, a belly band, little pocket, or this is just a little tuck. This is a paper bag I did this one out of. Uh, and um, yeah, I just did a little slide in tuck right here and did my fabric cover here. And also a little pocket here, which is fun. So yeah, so this is my Etsy shop too. It's pretty fun. I really, I really like making this one. And you got the crinkle. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so we got that. And this is my very first journal I ever made. Ever. And I keep it. I mean, I love it. It's just the very first journal I ever made. And I put fabric here for the uh, spine. Just to, it helps reinforce your spines. So that's a great way to use snippets. 
in little, you know, little fabric pieces, which snippets. <laughs> and then also the inside here. And I've gotten way better at it. Look, <laughs> good thing I put the fabric there. I think this would have fell apart by now. So yeah, so this was my very first and I had so much fun doing um, just collaging here. So I had fun doing that. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the spine and I don't think I did anything else in here, fabric. No. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that. And then my journal, I always show you guys when I'm putting stuff into things, like when I'm adding things so I can show examples. This was like my second journal I ever made. And I sewed all my little tie-dye, uh, extra little snippet fabrics I had. And I sewed them all together and made myself a cover. And I love it. I think it turned out really, really cool. And I used my rainbow thread to do it. So yeah, So and then I even bound, I did a binding with the um, actual fabric strips. I, that's how I bound, I bound it in. And let's look. Let's see if I can find a middle of my signature here. So yeah, you can see that I just used fabric strips and that's how I did the binding. So that's definitely something you could do too. And you can see here, you know, did a little bow out of fabric. I mean, there really is just so, so many possibilities. Uh, threads are great, which uh, that's all on the fabrics, you know, like you take it and just keep pulling it like this and you will get tons of little threads and keep those because they're great. I mean, I got my whole little stash here and I use those for clusters. Uh, fabric clusters are great to use. I'm sure I have one through here somewhere. Um, you can see here, you know, I added a little bit of just snippet of fabric right here. Did some fabric on there. So I just made myself like a little, just a cute little snippet here that I glued down. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I have some other fabric examples. Let's see, um, no, this one's paper. I did paper, but you could do ruffles. Ruffles are great. And right here, you know, just sew some ruffles and make a little belly band with it. Like that. Let's see. So I did my threads and paper here. I mean, so there's just so, so many ideas you can use fabric for. And I think that's all I got in here. Oh, right here. So I stacked up some lace fabric. I did some ruffles and then some thread and then a little button on top and it just makes great little clusters. I mean, you can go through all your scrap fabrics and make clusters and then here's another ruffle or a pocket you can add. So you can add your ruffles, you know, on your ephemera and to help decorate and stuff. And yeah, I think it's, they turn out so much fun. So there's so many options you can use fabric for. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys that show you some fun ideas, just get your creative juices flowing. And I will be selling in my Etsy shop. I asked you guys in the other video when I did my snippet little journals here with fabric in them. I'll show you guys real quick. I did fun little snippet journals with you guys and I added some fabric inside. And I have these in my Etsy shop as of now and I'll put the link down below. You guys can come check it out, but it's just got fabric pieces. I just put 10 strips of fabric, different sizes, and I did sewing right down the middle, just like this, let's see. And I just did some sewing right down the middle of it and made a cute little just journals with them. So I have these in my Etsy shop if you wanna come check them out. And now I asked you guys in this video if you wanted uh, bags of fabric, you know, if I just made some bags of fabric and just put fabric, all my different fabric snippets and stuff into just the packaging and sell them that way. And I get an overwhelming response and everybody really liked that idea. So that's what I'm doing in this video is I want to kind of show you guys how I get them ready and I will get them into my Etsy shop and I'll put the link down below. You guys can come check out 
the little snippet bags. Uh, these are so much fun. They're going to be so much fun. And I have tons of variety. And I will try not to duplicate, you know, duplicate uh, the same fabrics throughout. And, you know, I'll try not to, but some of them get stuck together. So you might get two of one. And But I'll really try to pick through and, you know, make it unique and give you guys a variety. So here's a pile I started. And it'll be... Keep in mind, some of them may be ripped or some have been cut a long time ago, like I do them with my rotary cutter. Uh, it's just a sharp blade that rolls. And they've been sitting, you know, I have them all in like paper uh, Ziplocs and stuff. And they will be frayed. Some of them will be frayed. Some are ripped and ripped, you know, so you have the frayed edges. And keep in mind, there will be some threads, loose threads and stuff. So, and they're gonna all just be irregular cuts. I mean, like this one's a triangle, this one's a rectangle. Uh, there's not going to be a certain size. There's not going to be, you know, I'm not going to do, it's not going to be like huge, big pieces or anything like that. So I'll keep them roughly about this size, like throughout. I mean, you'll get all kinds of fun little fabrics to play with. I mean, just so many fun little things you could do. And I'll make it so it's just different sizes and different things to, I mean, there's just so many things you can do with these. Like, you know, that was just some examples on there. I would love to hear in the comments down below if you guys have other ideas. I mean, I'm all for it. I, I got so much fabric that it's coming out my ears. <laughs> so if I'm all for like any other ideas you guys can think of to use your fabrics for and what you guys, you know, use them for. Um, but yeah. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. That helps me out so, so much. It's just a quick tap on the thumbs up and really helps me out. And I love hearing from you guys. So please comment down below. I really, it makes my day. Okay, and then we got the pretty fabrics and then we got some orange thrown in there, you know. I mean, they're all gonna be different. So I'm just kind of showing you guys, you know, just some ideas of what I have going here. See, like this one, I had two, but I'm gonna try not to do that. But what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna do each bag a roughly around three ounces. And this pile right here is 1.6 ounces. So right now I'm going to go through with you guys and cut and I want to double this pile and I got my little scale over there and I'm going to weigh them and get them up to three ounces with you guys. And I'm going to show you guys roughly what, how much you'll get. So it's kind of fun. Mm, I'm talking too much. I needed a little sip. Okay. So what we got, we got this going and I went through and poured a bunch more. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of looking through um, and it's going to be snippet sizes. So like this is huge, you know, so I can even take it, keep it folded in half like this, which I should have just kept it folded in half. And I'm trying to <clears throat> cut off all the white little ends here. Um, and these, some of them are designer, you know, really nice fabrics and some, are, you know, are just joint fabric kind of fabrics and stuff. So it's just a variety. And my mom, and I've told you guys this, my mom is a, uh, she's a quilter and she's quilted, you know, my whole life and stuff. So she's been doing it for years. And so she's got a different variety that she sent me and that I have here. And uh, I'm just gonna give you guys definitely some, a grab bag of just different kinds, you know, of fabrics. And I'm just taking my rotary cutter and just quickly just trimming, trimming the fabrics down like that just giving it I'm trying to give them straight edges but and you guys you know rip them however you want if you want to rip them and stuff but I'm just trying to take it and uh, have it so they're all cut and they will all be different so there's a whole pile of that the same kind so I'll put that over there and yeah I'm just going through and you can see how this is like I cut out I think I took cut out a rooster out of this one and uh, so I, it's still, I love the frame and stuff around it. I mean, it's great material. It's so much fun. So why not go like this? And then there we go. We got a fun piece like that. And then I try to cut it so it's not, you're not getting some weird, you know, like that. I'll just throw that part away because I'm not going to give you guys just like messed up pieces. So like this, I would just go like this and kind of trim that like that. And then that would be a good piece like this. So, 
that's kind of how I'm thinking, like, you know, just like that. But like this, eh, I don't, mm, I'll just throw that in the trash, because I don't know, I don't, that's not good enough for me <laughs> to send to you guys. So, this is what I'm doing. It's just kind of getting those little, if I cut something out, and like this, I'll just throw out. You know, because... I want you guys to have fun pieces to play with. Like, these are great to play with. Okay. And I know I threw some over here. Like this. This one's fun. And you can just see. It's just, you know, the way it is. And they're going to be wrinkly. You know, they're going to be, they've been shoved in a bag. But uh, I make sure that they're not musky. They don't smell musky or nothing. I've had them, you know, sealed in a, you know, Ziploc bags in dry places. So, I mean, they're great. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfect, you know, to do your junk journaling and uh, all that fun stuff. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of, you know, looking at it, going, okay, this will be a fun piece to play with, you know. That's what I mean by irregular pieces, you know, like how this one circles down like that. So, I mean, they're not all going to be squared out for sure. Here, I'll just do like that. And then that's a nice big piece to play with. So, I mean, they're great. I love all the different colors and, you know, varieties. So, let's see, we did that. Like, if it's frayed on the side like this, I kind of like that, you know? I just don't want to make it too scraggly. Mm -hmm, those are fun. And that's a fun little size right there. So some of them will be like this size, you know? Get little bigger pieces and smaller pieces and... love all the different fabrics. I love playing with the fabrics and I mean, it's just so much fun. So you can see what I'm doing here. It's just roughly, you know, these kind of sizes. And then there'll be some smaller pieces too, you know, like that. It's a little bit smaller, but I think I have a piece like that in here. Yeah. So I'm trying not to duplicate, you know, duplicate everything, but you know, it happens. And this is fun. This is moose. I got some moose. So I got some Alaskan because uh, my mom is from Alaska, you know, I'm, I'm from Alaska, I was raised there, and my husband was, but his family's from here, uh, and he moved up there with his family when he was, you know, they lived there like about seven, eight years, so we, we met in like uh, middle school and stuff, so he was there, and then his family came back here, so we came back here a little later, and uh, yeah, we had our son and stuff up in Alaska, so... He was born up there and my, my whole family's still back up there so we go visit and stuff it's really fun so what i'm saying is that she's got a lot of alaskan themed kind of material and i i will put that throughout so you guys can play that with that too so different things you know fun variety so let's see i'm gonna cut his little head off so yeah so you know just going through and this is a fun thing you guys can do with your fabrics too you know just kind of look at your fabrics and go you know I want to cut them down to smaller pieces smaller pieces so they're more controllable and then you can look at them and go okay so how can I use these you know in like smaller projects and stuff so it's just a fun way to kind of organize your stuff Everybody gets a little piece of this. This is 
kind of fun to play with. So, like I said, there will be uh, smaller pieces, you know, in there throughout. I'm just kind of, it's just a grab bag. There will be no thinking too much about it. <laughs> okay. And let's see. So, now this one's pretty. And you can all, and there may be, I don't know how much in here, but I know I have a couple, like I saw this chicken feet one. I writ dyed it like this one. So I don't know how much I'm throwing in that's going to be dyed and stuff or coffee dyed. I'm trying to steer clear of that, but let me know in the comments if you guys want more like coffee dyed fabrics and, you know, tea dyed fabrics. Cause I can uh, definitely do like another listing for that kind of stuff. But this one, you know, I figured I'd throw in just a little writ dye, which I've showed you guys what writ dye is. It's just a uh, liquid concentrate dye that you can dilute with water and then you can dye your fabrics and stuff and your papers and stuff with it. So I did that and that's just a scrap I've had hanging around. Okay, so I'm just going through, get a little bit bigger. here and I think I already have that one in here so that's kind of what I'm doing today is just looking through I think I do have these in here but uh seeing what I got you know seeing some fun things that you guys might want to play with and let me know in the comments if you guys definitely like this idea I mean for sure I love hearing from you guys it really does it does make my day isn't that cool it's so much fun. There's different colors. You get a variety of purples to blues. Oh, look at this. I love playing with fabric. It's just so many. I mean, really, there is so many possibilities that you can do with it, you know? And like I said, there is definitely, come watch my channel. There is definitely a lot that I do with fabric that are no-sew also, you know? You, know, you don't have to sew. And I always say that, and I give you guys, you know, uh, I think this is a bandana, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of fun. Um, I definitely give you guys, and I'm like, if I'm sewing here, you can definitely glue there. So pretty much everything I'm, mostly everything I'm doing, there is definitely a no-sew alternative, you know. See, this one would be fun to put over there. So you never know. Somebody might, if you order, you might get this stack right here. I mean, look at these. Ooh, I got some butterfly I threw in there. Kind of. I love the butterflies. But I guess I don't know. It's kind of a fun little grab bag. Um, I think I did that one. Oh, and these. Look at this. I mean, just look at that. It's just so much fun. So I'm just going through my stuff, really. And these are just my scraps. I mean, I went through and organized my fabric. It took me a day to get seriously organized uh, and get them into totes and kind of stacked up. I had them on my shelf over here and they were just falling over because I would always rummage through them and grab them and see what I want to use for the day and or you know what project I'm doing and then oh so I went through and actually did little here I'll show you guys it's kind of fun um I just went through and you know those uh What's that called? Spring mix. It's called spring mix uh, containers. I don't want to drop it out, but it's those spring mix, you know, where you get your, uh, like the, all the different salad. It's like a salad mix, but it, you know. So these containers, I didn't want to throw them out. They're plastic. And I'm like, I don't really want to throw them out. And I think I can use them for something. So I went through and organized and did like, this is all my Christmas fabrics. I mean, this is just like some of my Christmas fabrics. So I just went through and I stacked them all in here so I can just go, okay, I wanna make a Christmas journal. Let me see, what do I wanna use? And I just kind of flick through like this and just see some fun little, I mean, look at the cute little owl. So he's cute. Uh, just, you know, some pine cones. Like, what do I, what do I wanna do and make a, a fun Christmas journal? I mean, look at the little snowman and stuff. So these are all my good materials that I definitely you will use and add and do some you know journaling and stuff with. But that's what I did. And then I have a big tote that I 
went ahead and put a bunch in too but like my organized like I did Halloween and Christmas and uh, you know flowers and polka dots I, I tried to take my polka dots and put them all in one little thing and oh, so I was just like boo just trying to organize here so now I'm trying to see if you guys want to have some fun with this we can all have some fabric fun so that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna like, see these are good sizes that people can come play with. I mean, these are great to snip and rip and you know make little ties at the top of your tags and do some little clusters and snippets and I mean really I'm looking at butterfly. This one's cool. That's sparkly. I'm kind of scared sometimes the. I don't see, I don't know if I want to incorporate those because sometimes they get glitter all over everything. So I may not because I don't care for the glitter getting on stuff, you know? So I might move those to the side, but just cause I don't want to get a bunch of glitter on the fabric, you know? Because then when somebody gets it and they're like, man, I didn't want glitter on it, you know? So I will try to be careful about that. But sometimes there's a fabric in here that has it on there. And I try, I, I think it's just that. I only have those few pieces. Because I try to steer clear from glitter. I don't, I don't know if you guys are the same way. But I usually do not use glitter in my craft room. Because once you use glitter, oh my goodness, it's on everything. Like, you might as well glitter everything. I mean, it's pretty and all, but it really does get on everything. So there, I think that was the only pieces. And I think I saved it. Make sure it's not in my hands. Okay. Um, let's see, oh, we got another little piece here. So, there may contain some glitter, <laughs> but not much. I really try to steer clear of glitter. And if I see it, I will do that and just kind of spray off my little cutter here. So we don't get glitter bombed. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just continue this and make a pile. I'm going to do a three ounce pile and then I will show you guys how big the pile will be and you guys can see it on film you know on video on film what am I jeez <laughs> on video and then you guys can uh see it like how much you're gonna get and it's pretty it's a lot I mean it really is more than I thought three ounces was I mean this is just like half of that so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and do that in a time lapse and I'm just gonna continue here and cut some more and I'll be back So let me move some of this back. Ooh, I got so much fabric here. I got a mountain of fabric. So I got all these done and this weighs three ounces. So that is a good amount of fabrics right here. I mean, look at that. So many different varieties. So many fun things to play with. I think the egg and the bacon is funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And yeah, so there's just so many things that you could do with these and so many activities to be had so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and if you could please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you guys can see my next video when i post it like comment and share and let's grow together and keep on crafting <laughs>